Hey guys, Lezard here, and today it's time for the first episode in the series Photoshop for the Complete Beginners. Now, one thing that you've got to keep in mind is that these tutorials are for the complete beginners, so if you already used Photoshop and you created things, then you might not learn a lot from the beginning of these. So, the first thing I want to go through with you guys is creating a new document, setting it up, and setting up a project folder to keep, to keep your work organized because in the past I was lazy, I didn't organize my files well and at the end it just wasted me a lot of time trying to look for folders or files within my project. Let me close all this and then I can talk to you about the Photoshop general layout and then setting up a new document and then setting up your project folder at the same time so you keep your work organized. So this is what your Photoshop should look like first time you open it unless you change things around. You got work presets on the top right corner so you can pick essentials, design or painting. This will change your little boxes here which help you to work quicker and easier. What we are going to be using is the design workspace preset. Alright, I already changed this, yours should look something like this, but I prefer my layers in a bigger window, so all you got to do is click here, you see that little arrow shows up, you click and drag up and it will make your layers panel bigger, which will be very important later on. Now first thing we're going to do is create a new document, all you got to do is go File, New and your little option window will come up here. You can name your file. You can pick a preset from here and you left click and then you can pick use US paper, international paper, photo, web, custom, blah blah blah. Let's say you go brief, you need to design an A4 magazine cover you just click on here international paper and then within that in the size you can select A4 and you're ready to go another thing that you gotta keep in mind when you're setting this up is the resolution alright the default resolution is 72 pixels per square inch if you don't know what pixels are you should go and look it up on Wikipedia or learn it because it will be very important for you if you want to design digitally. I never work unless they're 150 pixels per square inch because it's just way too pixelated and it doesn't look right. The reason why it's 150 is because most household printers, the cheaper ones, they only print at 150 resolution per square inch. They don't print any higher, so there is no point in working at 300 pixel, pixels per square inch unless you're creating something for the computer. So, normally, if I design um, a wallpaper or something, then I work in 300 pixels per square inch and everything comes out really nice and crisp. Another thing you can set here is the color mode. You got bitmap, grayscale, or RGB. I always work in RGB. Another thing you can choose is the background content. So you can pick white, transparent, or background color. If you're designing a logo, then you want to work with a transparent background. The reason for that is when you save it, after that you can just grab your design, pop it onto another document and it will show up without a wide background so you don't have to edit that later on. Today we're going to be working with a wide background and that's it. Another thing you can do is save your preset alright so if you've got a custom size that you want to be using let's say you want to design something for a web page and the size is in pixels let's say 1600 by 1200 or something, it doesn't really matter, this is just an example then you can save this as a preset, so you can click on save a preset 
and you can name it here web page preset 1600 by I don't even know what it was now 800 alright and then when you come to presets here it will show up here alright so you can just click this and your document is ready to go click on OK and your document is created now that we got our document created what we want to do is set up a project folder first thing that's what I always do so you go on file save as and then you just go on your desktop or wherever you want to go create a new document a uh, new folder call it a project tutorial and within here you create another new folder and call it PSD files and here you save it as a PSD alright which is the Photoshop format this is what Photoshop uses every time you save something alright so you save this as a Photoshop file into here click save and now every time you do a change and say make something oh my god this is looking amazing I need to save this in case my computer dies I don't want to lose all my data you can go file and just click save alright and it will automatically save it to wherever you made your first save okay it will overwrite the old one another thing you want to do is use shortcuts alright so for save is control s so I'm making here some more improvements alright this is where his hair is it's looking very beautiful indeed so I want to save this very quickly all I do is hold control s and it saves it alright now I don't have to click here click save it just wastes time and it really speeds up your workflow if you're using shortcuts now my design is nearly finished so I wanna I really want to share this with the world but first what I want to do is give it some color with the eyes even though this is supposed to be black it doesn't matter I already want to give it some lipstick so it looks even prettier like so now I think this is a masterpiece so what I want to do is share this image with the world so all you do is click file save as and then now here where you made your PSD files folder you go up a folder create a new folder called JPEGs and then here you will rename this and just call it um, whatever you want to call it you can call it character 1 oh sorry character 1 and then format you want to save it as a JPEG alright because this is what a lot of people use and Windows can open this up when you want to view it so if someone does it on Photoshop and they can open this and look at your picture and it will see obviously that you are some amazing artist alright so just save as a JPEG and then here this little window will come up and you can set it's a small file or a large file obviously the larger it is the better quality is going to be so you always want to keep this as a large file for the best quality unless there is a you want to upload it somewhere and there's a restriction on the site let's say it only lets you to upload files up to 200k then you can just turn this down a little bit see now it's only 160k so I can just save it as a JPEG and now if I go wherever I saved it I don't even know where I saved it if I go this is where I saved it I can just right click look and this is our final piece it's beautiful I can share it with the world now and that's all you have to do 
alright so this is it for the first tutorial guys I hope you enjoyed it be sure to comment rate and subscribe